Let's get right to it. A certificate of completion in the real world is useless. A certificate of completion is not a certification. Let's define what a certificate is before we go into the weeds. Any course you complete, and at the end you receive a completion certificate, is known as a certificate. Who offers these? Udacity, Udemy, Coursera, Google, any course or curriculum you take, and you receive a certificate at the end of the course, is utterly worthless in the real world. Every single one of them has zero value. Employers don't use them to make hiring decisions, I guarantee it. I've worked at several top tech companies, including Microsoft and Uber, and many others, and I promise not one hiring decision was ever made based on a certificate on a resume. Now, that might tell you something different, but I promise you they don't. Why would companies value them? What did you accomplish? You watched a course. There's no guarantee you were paying attention. The majority of people never even finish these courses, let alone learn anything. Not only that, today's version of taking a course often means you watched it like a movie. You don't learn anything by watching courses like movies. Did you know that the completion rate on every online platform is 10%? Let me say that another way. 90% of the people who take online courses do not finish them. As a matter of fact, several of the companies I've worked for in the past filtered them out on resumes. Why filter them out? If you put them on a resume, it's a sure sign you don't understand how the real world operates. What you're really telling employers is, I don't have any experience, skill, or education, but I watched a course on Coursera Udacity for a month or two. Congratulations. Can you put whipped cream on that mocha? Here's a mistake those new to this space make time and time again. They use certificate as a synonym for certification. A certificate of completion is not a certification. In the tech space, a certification means you studied for an exam, you went to a proctored location, and you took an exam, and you either passed it or you failed it. Additionally, as a general rule, there are three companies widely seen as respected in the IT space from a certification perspective. They are the big three, Microsoft, Google, and Amazon. Now, there are others. For example, the world's most difficult and probably most prestigious certification is the CCIE. That's the top Cisco certification, and most don't pass it, ever. Now, I'm not saying that the knowledge you gain from any of these platforms is worthless. I believe something learned is always something gained. Throughout my life, I've been amazed at the times I used something I thought was worthless or I had forgotten about. The real world, especially with an IT, is about skills and experience. Yes, knowledge accumulation is part of developing skills, but fake placards are not. In IT, there are very few shortcuts to the top. Stop focusing on how fast you can get through a course to attain a certificate no one cares about and start learning and honing the skills of your craft. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, like right now. Please go ahead and do it. And always, have a great day.